So for a Muslim, haram is haram. And that example has helped a lot of people that when a person wins a lot of money but it is coming through haram source, then it is like flood waters. Look at all the countries where, which have been hit by floods. Now in the flood water, the water is plentiful, plentiful of water. But what is in that water? Dead animals, donkeys, mules, cows, ox, pigs, urine, stool, any dirt and filth that that water picks up along the way. The toilets all you cannot flush at that time. Everything is upside down. Now all that is in the flood waters. So the water is plentiful. But if somebody has to drink that water, then he's going to die of Belazia. He's going to die. So what is required to quench his thirst is a tumbler full of clean, pure, fresh water. If he drinks that, it will quench his thirst. And if he has to drink plentiful of the other water, he's going to die. So the water is plentiful, but it's of no use. In the same way for a Muslim, when there's plentiful of haram that's coming, it is like the flood waters, which has got bilazia. It's going to bring disaster in that person's life. Yes, for the disbelievers, for those who do not believe in Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and in the day of Qiyamah, in the Akhirat, then for them that is indeed plentiful, because this dunya is jann- jannat for them. So let us not just look at them all the time and then try to do the same thing, emulate them. Allah wa ta'ala wants to give us that which is halal. So he hasn't stopped us. This is what we don't understand. That Allah wa ta'ala has not declared wealth itself as being haram. In fact, it is necessary. In these days it's necessary. But acquire it in the proper way, in the halal way, then there is no problem at all.